Good day, everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 9 Daily Lessons. And our topic today is all about solving problems involving inverse variation. Learning competency. Solving problems involving variation. Learning objective. To solve problems involving inverse variation. In this lesson, we assume that you already learned about illustrating variations and also translating variation statement. So, these two things are very important. One of the most difficult part in mathematics is solving problems. That is why it is very important to understand it step by step. To solve variation problem, we have to follow these six steps. Number 1. Find the variation statement. 2. Determine the type of variation. 3. Translate the statement into mathematical equation. 4. Write down the given values. 5. Determine what is being asked in the problem. And 6. Solve using the equation and the given values. And now, let us try to use these six steps in solving inverse variation problems. Example The number of days needed in repairing a house varies inversely as a number of men working. It takes 15 days for 3 men to repair the house. How many men are needed to complete the job in 5 days? Use the six steps in solving. In first step, we have to find the variation statement. To find the variation statement, we have to look for the variables or quantities. The two quantities referring here is the word days and the word men. So these are the two quantities and D represent days and M represent men. So, we can now use the letters or variables D and M in our problem. Hint 2. Find the word varies as or proportional to. So, we have varies inversely as. Therefore, our step 1 is D varies inversely as M. So we are done with step 1. Now let us proceed to step 2. Determine the type of variation. Hint 1. Recall the types of variation. Let us recall about the four types of variation. We have the rec, inverse, joint, and also combine variation. But how to determine the kind of variation in the problem? If you see the word directly, then it refers to direct variation. And if you see the word inversely, then it refers to inverse variation. If you have noticed the word jointly, then it refers to joint variation. And if you notice both directly and inversely, then it refers to combined variation. Hint 2. Compare this to step 1. So let us recall our step 1. Our answer for step 1 is B varies inversely as M. So we look for the word varies inversely. So therefore, inverse variation is the answer. Now we are done with step 2. Step 3. Translate the statement into mathematical equation. Hint 1. Recall about the translation. These are the translation. In the rec, 
s equals k times y. Inverse, s equals k over y. Joint, s equals k times y times z. And for combined variation, x equals k times y over z. Since d varies inversely as m is an inverse variation statement, its mathematical equation will be d is equal to k over m. We are done with step 3. Step 4. Write down the given values. The given values are 15 days, or D is equal to 15. 3 men, or M is equal to 3. 5 days, or D is equal to 5. We are done with step 4. Step 5. Determine what is being asked in the problem. The problem is all about how many men are needed to complete the job in 5 days. So it refers to how many men or M is equal to a known. Now we are done with step 5. Now let us proceed to the last step. Step 6. Solve using the equation and the given values. Hint 1. Solve for k using the given. We can solve the value of k using the given from step 3 and 4. Solution. d is equal to k over m. Then, the value of your d is equal to 15. is equal to k over the value of your m is equal to 3. Then, to cancel 3, multiply both sides by 3. Therefore, 15 times 3 is equal to 45, and cancel 3. It will become k, so 45 is equal to k, or k is equal to 45. Then, from d is equal to k over m, it will become d is equal to 45 over m. Solve for step 5. To solve step 5, we will use step 4 and step 5. Solution D is equal to K over M. Then D is equal to 45 over M. Your D is 5 is equal to copy 45 over M. 5 is equal to 45 over M. To cancel M, multiplied both sides by m. Now, m times 5 is 5m is equal to cancel m. Therefore, the remaining is 45. 5m is equal to 45. To cancel 5, so divide both sides by 5. Cancel 5 is equal to 45 divided 5 is equal to 9. The value of m is equal to 9. Finally, we are done with our last step and we come up into our final answer. Problem solved. Therefore, 9 men are needed to complete the job in 5 days. That's all guys. I hope you learned something about our topic today. Hope that this video lesson will help a lot in your math subject. God bless and thank you for watching. See you to our next lesson. Bye-bye.